two members of an anti-government group at a house in Upper Darby. Members of this group believe that they live beyond the authority of the state and federal governments. Action News reporter Dan Quayer is live at 36 North Harward Avenue in Upper Darby. Dan, what are the details on this? Well, Jim, the two members of the purported sovereign group have been arrested and charged with risking a catastrophe. Police say they summoned their supporters from across the region to come out and prevent sheriff's deputies from evicting them. Authorities trying to avoid another move organization type incident decided to wait it out until things cooled down. This group is totally anti-government in any way, shape, or form. Arrested and charged in connection with the case are 41-year-old DeCorey Pitts and 43-year-old Sharon Gale, also known as Sharon Tracy Gale Bay. They purport to be leaders of the Moors sovereigns, called Moors, who preached a radical ideology. They're very violent. They're anti-government. They don't believe in anything that the government has to, to, to say. Authorities say when they defaulted on their mortgage, the sheriff's office issued an eviction notice. Authorities say that's when the two used social media to urge their supporters from across the tri-state area to come out and prevent deputies from entering the house. Forty to fifty people showed up. Superintendent Mike Chitwood had visions of what happened with the MOVE organization in Philadelphia back in the 80s. He did not want a repeat of that and urged law officers to wait. I was very concerned. I was concerned about the safety for everybody, the neighborhood, the officers. They waited for two months until only the two suspects and their three children were in the home. They raided the place without incident at the crack of dawn Monday. Chetwood says you wouldn't believe what the woman told SWAT officers. You're all under arrest and I'm making a citizen's arrest. She said what? She said well, I'm making a citizen's arrest so you're all under arrest. So needless to say, she got locked up. We didn't get locked up. Inside the home, they found a pistol grip 12 gauge shotgun. They also found a generator hooked up to a slew of car batteries that were daisy chained together, hooked up to a heater on a propane tank. This apparently to generate heat and electricity. A hookup, Chetwood says, could have blown the neighborhood sky high. Neighbors' reaction? How do you feel now that you're hearing it? Oh, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm definitely not happy. Did they seem like nice people to you or not? I'm not sure. We never have any conversation with them. Okay. Only except when you are going, hello, hello, that's it. Now, both have been charged with risking a catastrophe, recklessly endangering another person, and endangering the welfare of children. The children have now been placed with other relatives. The two people charged have a preliminary hearing set for April the 3rd. We're live here in Upper Darby. I'm Dan Quayar, Channel 6, Action News. Jim